She was speeding, going 80 miles an hour, according to experts, when Rosalinda Alalde crashed broadside into a sedan, killing its driver and critically injuring four passengers. Her blood alcohol level was over twice the legal limit. During Olalde's trial on intoxication, manslaughter and assault charges today, the jury left the courtroom. Paul Venema with a look at what they saw in the parking lot. Accompanied by her lawyer, 24-year-old Rosalinda Olalde gets a look at what the jury had viewed moments earlier in the parking lot adjacent to the courthouse. That's her SUV. She crashed it broadside into the white sedan, killing 22-year-old Mario Velasquez Palau and critically injuring four passengers in his car. According to police reports, she'd veered from the Loop 1604 access road and onto the sidewalk that Palau was crossing as he attempted to get onto the access road. The medical examiner testified that he died within seconds of the crash. That brainstem had been torn in two, completely transected. Um, the joint between the base of the skull and the top of the bones of the neck was completely torn apart and dislocated. SAPD Detective Patrick Davis, an accident reconstruction expert, showed the jury crash scene pictures and video of the crash recorded by security cameras at a nearby business. The sedan was pushed into a ditch. Olalde's vehicle kept going. The vehicle had rolled over. Um going one side to the other, so it's toppling over. It's not going end over end. We were not allowed to record video of the jury viewing the vehicles. That's prohibited. But it was clear from what we saw that for the most part, it was an eye-opening sight. The jury's now had a first-hand look at the aftermath of the crash, then heard from the state's expert witness. On Monday, the defense expert. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News. It was a 